other thing is, when you look at the Congress, though, it's it's like 24 hours since John McCain was put to death, and John McCain was put to death, and John McCain was put to death, and John McCain was put to death, and. John McCain was put to death. And, and look at this, this circus of a hearing that's going on. Here's what I, I think at the end. The federal government right now is not functioning. And you know, every time I talk to your folks, I say, we have to begin to solve many of these problems where we live. Let's talk about the law and war. Is there a body of law called the law of armed conflict? There is, there is such a body, sir. Is there a body of law that's called basic criminal law? Yes, sir. Are there differences between those two bodies of law? Yes, sir. From an American citizen's point of view, do your constitutional rights follow you? If you're in Paris, does the Fourth Amendment protect you as an American from your own government? Uh, from your own government, yes. Okay. So, if you're in Afghanistan, do your uh, constitutional rights protect you against your own government? If you're an American in Afghanistan, you have constitutional rights as against the U.S. government. Is there a long-standing... That's, that's right. long-settled law. Isn't there also a long-settled law that goes back to the Eisenstrader case? I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Johnson versus Eisenstrader. Right. Eisenstrader case. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Johnson versus Eisenstrader. Right. Johnson versus Eisenstrader. Right. Trigger. 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 that American citizens who collaborate with the enemy have considered enemy combatants. Uh, they can be. Uh, can be. They can be. They're often, some, they're sometimes criminally prosecuted, sometimes treated in the military. Well, let's talk about can be. Under Supreme Court precedent. Right. There's a Supreme Court decision that said that American citizens who collaborated with Nazi saboteurs were tried by the military. Is that correct? That is correct. I think a couple of them were executed. Yeah. So if anybody doubts, there's a long-standing history in this country that your constitutional rights follow you wherever you go, but you don't have a constitutional right to turn on your own government and collaborate with the enemy of the nation. You'll be treated differently. What's the name of the case, if you can recall, that reaffirmed the concept that you could hold one of our own as an enemy combatant if they were engaged in terrorist activities in Afghanistan? Are you familiar with that case? Yeah, Hondi. So the bottom line is, on every American citizen, no, you have constitutional rights, but you do not have a constitutional right to collaborate with the enemy. There's a body of law well developed long before 9-11 that understood the difference between basic criminal law and the law of armed conflict. Do you understand those differences? I do, I do understand that there are different bodies of law, of course, sir.